Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Harmon Homestead. I'm out in the garden early. It's cool. I'm wearing a long sleeve, but we're out here. I wanted to video this before the sun came up. I'm trying to beat the clock here. Roosters are crowing. Bear with me. Tomato plants. We've had some problems, okay? The past two weeks, I've monitored this, and I wanted to be able to talk about it. So, I've watched it, and I think I know what we're dealing with here. So I noticed on a couple of my tomato plants, if you can see behind me, I have leaves with spots on them. The best that I can tell is this is going to be tomato blight. Either it's going to be tomato blight or septoria leaf spot. Do you see this? Either way, if it's septoria leaf spot or if it's tomato blight, it's a fungal infection, okay? This right here is caused if it's overwintered in the soil. Well, I planted my tomatoes in a different spot this year. That's not the problem. Overhead watering, that could be the problem. I have to do that here. I do not have drip irrigation, the drip tape, none of that. But rain comes from the top too, okay? So if you have a lot of rain, which we have the past several weeks, this can be a problem. Humidity, this can be a problem. Any kind of moist, humid environment will grow this if it's overwintered in the soil or just in general, it may grow it. If you don't clean your pruning shears, you can spread this. These are brand new this year, so that's not the problem. The soil here should not be a problem. Sometimes it just happens, okay? What it will do, and I had this last year, so I, I know what we're dealing with. It will literally eat up the entire plant. Your tomatoes will get covered in this and it will just rot them away. See the holes, the spots start eating through the leaves. Well, your leaves take up chlorophyll, nutrients, and make your plant grow, okay? If you don't have that, then you've got a problem. Your plant won't be able to grow. It will get on the stem. I have one plant here that it is on the stem. We're, we're in kind of rough times, okay? So I'm not too happy with it. This limb right here this morning just broke off. I was looking at it and it literally just weakens it to the point it breaks off. See the spots? Now, the plants, I did a video on this, the copper penny garden and copper supposedly is an antifungal, has antifungal properties. The plants that I put the copper pennies beside do not have this. I don't know if that's stroke of luck. I don't know, however, I think it I think it works okay so the first thing you need to do if you have this is come out here and prune these plants and get those disease parts off of it well that's I'm getting ready to do that again but it seems to help control it secondly they make sprays this is what I went out and got okay and sure enough look at the name copper fungicide treats black spot powdery mildew downy mildew any kind of fungus and blight see your tomato there how it's eaten up with blight most of the sprays that i looked at were copper okay so we've hit these plants heavy with this everybody looks good i went ahead and just preventatively treated the rest of my plants with this just as a preventative it's done great except these two maybe three plants eh, i'm going to prune these up heavily okay but the problem is is when you start pruning you're getting that disease off of there but you're lessening the amount of that plant and the plant's already under attack so this is what i did and i've had good success with this the past two weeks i come out here and i fertilize the tar out of these plants because i want them to outgrow this fungus while i'm cutting away i want these plants to keep growing okay because remember they're already compromised they're under attack from this fungus they're having trouble growing not producing as well you cut the fungus out you've got less of a plant now it's already under attack you've got less of a plant to work with fertilize it so it'll grow grow okay this usually will start at the bottom and get on the stem. That's not good. That's your main support line. So I'm going to come back out here and prune these again. I'm going to spray these, this with the copper. Furthermore, instead of copper pennies, I've got some copper pipe. 
I'm going to put down in the soil. Okay, it cannot hurt at this point because we're probably looking at two tomato plants dying here if I don't do something quick. Besides fertilizing, fertilizing. I'm telling y'all, the growth up top is astronomical. Look at all this. Look at it. And thank goodness I didn't prune these suckers because what I'm working off here, a lot of the branches that are undamaged are suckers. So I, if I was going to prune my plants heavily, I would wait until further on in the season and see what happens before you start trimming this tomato plant. Because if it had hit and it only had the stems on it and no suckers, we'd be in a mess. You would have nothing to work with and your plant would die quicker. At this point, we're just trying to get fruit off of these plants before it succumbs to it. Because last year, I did not treat this on these plants. I just let it go. I thought it was because I planted heirloom, to be honest. I thought, well, it's probably because they're heirloom. They're not hybrid. They're not resistant th to this stuff. So I'm going to just try these hybrids. This one is a better boy. This one is a big boy. These are hybrids. They're supposed to be good. Okay. And these are the two under attack. My best tomatoes right now are my homestead tomatoes that are heirloom. And they produce fruit first okay so and if you zoom in you might can see it's on the stem on this one so we have got to get this pulled out now it says to uh the internet and everywhere else all your articles say to have good airflow it you can't see this the way i've got the camera but at the base that main line is just a pure base there's no branches on the ground i've been very meticulous about that there's no nothing now airflow is not as good up here because i've got so much plant Right now, I, I really don't care. We're under fungus attack. We've got to treat this, and I need new growth right now. So I'm telling you, if you notice this, get rid of it, prune it, copper, okay? And what I'm gonna do is just put this down in the ground beside it. I'm gonna leave a little bit sticking up. I've got a hammer down here. My husband cut this off. It's just old copper pipe we had, and I'm gonna put it as long as it gets down in the soil. Get that copper down in there right beside your plant and leave it sticking up. That's what I just did, okay? It, it cannot hurt if you've got it laying around the house, but I'm telling you, your plant is, this is gone. I, I don't think there's any repairing this. What we sprayed is it, still there. It's not spread, but it's still there. So th this is gonna be dead either way, okay? This is not viable. I'm telling you, you got to fertilize. I really think fer fertilization is the trick to get this plant on up, okay? Because th this, this, there's no coming back, okay? There is no coming back from this. It, it's not going to make it. Get rid of it and fertilize and try the copper, guys. Try, I'm telling you, try the copper. There's something to it. And I got, I mean, just people ripped into me on the internet about the copper but i'm telling you i really think there's something to it that's just my opinion and it's wor worked for us so far if you're desperate why not try it you know why not try it so i'm gonna get out here we're gonna prune a lot of this we are going to increase the airflow but i still i'm not gonna take off good branches not right now <laughs> no no we're not going through here and taking off good branches just to get airflow because I got a feeling it's going to be on these plants regardless, okay? Once it's there, it's there. So, fertilize to get it going. Okay, guys, we got a lot of things going on here, and I am very impressed with these tomato plants with the copper pennies beside them. They look great. So, get after it. Check your tomato plants. Now is the time to be looking for tomato hornworms. They're green worms that are going to be on these plants, eating, whittling away at everything you've got, and they will leave damage okay i've not seen any yet on mine but now's the time to be checking okay um i also have some neem oil spray as well i picked it up the, the day that i got the copper it seems to have worked so far for pests so we will see i don't know anything about neem oil i've just heard it recommended many times but i'm telling y'all get out here and check your plants okay you don't want to lose your whole harvest we'll see you next time on Harmon homestead